Hi, welcome to Microservices Lab. In this lecture, we are going to use GraphQL enums. So let us get started. So let us open the schema.graphql file. Here we will create our new enum. This enum will be used to categorize our book object and this will hold up the constants like the horror, comedy, classic, fantasy, etc. categories into which a book can be categorized. So let us create the enum now. So to create an enum we have to use the enum keyword and then we have to specify the name of the enum. So let us say category and this enum will hold up the categories into which a book can be categorized. So the first category can be horror other can be comedy and fantasy. So we have created an enum called category which has three constants or category horror, comedy and fantasy. And now we will use this enum to categorize our book object. So to do that we have to actually create a new field in our book object of type category. So let us do that category of type category. So we have successfully created a new enum called category and we have used it to categorize our book object. So now the next step is to create an identical enum called category in the Java as well. Why we need to create an identical enum in Java as well? Because we can only use GraphQL enums in client side. So to use the enums in backend, we have to actually create a identical enum in Java as well. So let us create it. But first let us create a new sub package called constant which will hold our enum. So right click new package constant and now let us create our enum in this sub package. Right click new enum. The name will be same category and the constant will also be same. So let us copy the constants from this GraphQL enum category. And let us paste all the constants over here in the category enum in Java. So we have created a Java enum as well. And the next step is to actually use this category enum to categorize our book class. So let us open up the book.java file. So to do that we have to actually create a new field over here in the book class of type category. So let us do that. Private category category. And now we have to actually create the getter and setter for this field. So press control one and select getter, create getter and setter for category. Press OK. And now we have getter and setter for category field. Now the next step is to actually add a new column in our books table to include this new field called category. To do that we have to open the schema.sql file and we have to modify this statement to include the category column. So let us do that comma category and we will be storing our enum constants as strings so we will have to use the var care max size let us say 255 for now and we have successfully added a new column in our books table called category of type var care 
now we have to actually modify our mutation as well in the schema.graphql file as you can see that we have only one mutation called create book and it takes book name and the pages in the book but it doesn't include the category so we have to create a new argument a category which will take up the value for this category field so let us do that category of type category so we have actually added a new argument called category of type at category but now we have to fetch the value for this argument as well so where we will do that we will do that in the data fetcher which is actually associated with this create book mutation and that particular data fetcher is located in the book service and the name of that data fetcher is create book so this data fetcher is actually associated with this mutation so we can actually fetch the value for this category field in this data fetcher as we are doing for the other fields like book name pages age author name and etc so let us do that category category equals to category dot value of env dot get argument and the name of the argument was category we have to actually use the value of method present in the enum class because we will be receiving this argument as a string and we have to actually create a category constant out of that string so we are using the value of method over here now the next step is to actually set this category variable in our book object so let us create a book object over here instead of doing it over here so book book equals to new book and now let us set the properties on this object book dot set name book name book dot set pages pages book dot set category category and now let us replace this let us copy book and replace it with this so we have successfully modified our data fetcher as well and now we are ready and our coding is done now let us start our spring boot application and then switch to altair to check our functionality if it is working fine or not so let us run our application run as spring boot app as you can see our application is started now let us switch to altair our table is actually empty so we have to use the mutation create book mutation first to actually put on some books in our database so let us first do a reload docs by clicking on the reload docs button and then let us click on the docs button to see what operations are available for us so first we have to use this mutation create book and then we can query the book that is created in the books table we can either use get book operation or get books operation so let us first create a book in the books table so to do that we have to use the create book mutation so mutation create book and it takes a few arguments first is book name let us say the name of the book is my book and then it takes the pages 200 might be then category and for category you can actually see what 
what options are available for this field by clicking on this category enum highlighter over here so let us click on this and as you can see that we have these option options available for this field so let us use the horror constant or option over here horror and now we have to specify the author name let us say my author and lastly we have to specify the age of the author let us say 59 and this mutation actually returns us the ID of the newly created book in the string format so let us run this mutation and see what we get in the results so run mutation and you can see that our mutation is executed successfully and we get the ID specified over here so let us copy this ID and now let us execute a query which will fetch a book which has ID this so now let us use a query instead of mutation so the query we are going to use is get book and for get book we have to specify the ID and let us see the ID is this and this returns us a book so we have to specify the sub selection as you can see that we have an error field get book of type book must have a selection of sub fields so let us sub select fields so I want to fetch the name of the book pages in the book author in the book and author itself is actually not a scalar type so we have to sub select the fields let us say the name of the author and then we can specify the category for our book so now let us run this query and see the results as you can see that our field category contains the value horror so this implies that our book is successfully stored with this category field which contains the horror value so this is how you actually use graphql enums i hope you will get something from this lecture please share this video and subscribe to this channel thank you